Hello everyone and welcome to another JC Inventory tutorial. My name is Jack and I'm going to be guiding you through how to set up backpacks or multi bags in your game as well as showing off the new tag system. So to get started I'd like to show you just a basic implementation of the backpack system. Here I have a backpack represented by the ammo mesh and as you can see that's worked. I can open it up and you can see that it is empty. I can put items in it in one of two ways. I can drag them onto the backpack or I can open up the backpack and drag items in this way. Crafting is fully featured in the backpack. Additionally, there are some safeguards to make sure you can't access the backpack if you don't have physical access to it. For example, I can put it into the container and still access the backpack, but if I move away from the container, I can't access the backpack. Likewise, if I have the backpack open and I drop the backpack on the floor, I can't access the backpack anymore. If I pick up the backpack, as you would expect, all the items remain intact. The backpack works procedurally and new backpacks can be generated at runtime, so if you wanted to have an enemy drop his bag or perhaps his own body is the backpack, um, then that's entirely supported. And that uses the new tag system, which I'm going to be covering in this video. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be making our own backpack to begin with, and I'm going to explain the process and how it works. So first thing you want to do is make a new blueprint. The parent class for the blueprint is going to be a JC backpack item. Note you have a JC backpack container uh, and it's a child of JC item container. The one you want is the child of JC inventory item. So we're going to name it demo backpack, demo backpack, video demo backpack. I already have a demo backpack. Okay. We're going to open that up. As you can see, this is no different from uh, setting up any other item as it's a child of. It just has some extra functionality. So, the first thing we're going to do uh, is name the backpack. We're going to call it Video Demo Backpack. Uh, I'm going to rush through this process, but if you're curious, there is another tutorial video on how to set up a backpack. Sorry, an item that you can find on my YouTube channel. This is a demo backpack. Okay, one thing I want to show off at this point is item tags. Now the difference between item tags and the rest of this data is this field, uh, these will be persistent throughout the item's life. So all this data here is based on the actual class and when you throw out an item into the world it will hold this data in it and when you pick it up it will use this data to make the item in your inventory. The difference between all this data and the item tags is that this will be persistent for the specific item so this will just be the generic item type and they'll all be the same whereas the item tags can make them separate. For example you could have two tennis balls. They have the same class only one of them is on fire and the other one isn't the way you could do that is by adding an item tag on fire. Then in your inventory, even though you moved it into your inventory space or a container space, that tennis ball would still be on fire. Um, this could be used then to maybe spread the fire into the container or whatever you would like. Um, but for this example, I've used the item tag system to be able to procedurally generate new bags. So there's a little bit of funky syntax here but the way we do this is we just put in capital letters bag and then what we want to name our bag so we're going to say video bag so this is done in the tag system so as we can have multiple video demo backpacks in the level but have them all access a different container let's go ahead and place this in our level and I'll show you what I mean so this backpack is now going to work 
In fact, I'll show you that you can even put them inside item containers. And they'll work just as well. So we've just made this item. And we can put things into it. Grab it out of that area. Throw it into the level. As you can see, we've still got our items. Okay, so it's working. But what was I talking about before when I said you could have multiple backpacks out of the same class? Well, this uses the tag system, and this can be extended to work with many different things, perhaps attributes for a Dungeons and Dragons or Diablo style random loot system. Or perhaps, like I said before, adding status effects to items. Uh, here, we can use it to generate uh, different bags. So I can change the tag here or down here in the actors tags to another bag. Let's call it and we can go ahead and see if that works. So this bag should be different from that other bag no matter what. Now of course they look the same and they have the identical item data so in the inventory they'll look the same and essentially act the same in terms of size and everything else. But what separates them is that they can hold different items in them. Likewise, I can't put bags within bags as it wouldn't logically make sense. And as you can see, we've set up two different types of bags out of the same class. Now these features don't need to be used at all um, and you're more than welcome to just create as many child backpack items as you want and then they can have different icons and text and whatever you need. But the tag system was put in place uh, to make sure that you're able to move data persistently across different items and make them all unique. Um, so now the item system is only limited by your imagination. Okay, if you've got any questions, ask on the forum and I'd be happy to help. Thank you.